the truth is enough about what's happening at the southern border. When you think about the statements about who's eating dogs and cats in Springfield, uh, do you wish that had been handled differently by you and others? Well, what I said then, and I'll say now, is you're hearing a lot of things from your constituents. They're telling you things. And I think it's important for me to listen to the people that are coming to me with their problems. Now, do I think that the media certainly got distracted on the housing crisis and the health crisis and the crisis in the public schools by focusing on the eating the dogs and the cats things? Yeah, I, I do. And do I wish that I had been better in that moment? Maybe. But it's also people in my community, people that I represent are coming to me and saying, this thing is happening. What am I supposed to do? Hang up the phone and tell them they're a liar because the media doesn't want me to talk about it? One of the things that I've learned in my, in my time in the United States Senate is that sometimes the media do doesn't always listen to people. And sometimes people say something that seems outlandish and it turns out being false. And sometimes people say something outlandish that turns out being true. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, Click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.